what's going on? Hey guys. Hey! -o! Hey you guys, it's Darnell Bradley. This is for real. What's going on, dope shit gang? It's your boy Darnell Bradley back at y'all with another video, and guess what? Back still hurts. Alright, so we've got Broccoli Bars 3, Wiggly Willy. Damn bull. Now this one is actually only a year forward or within going on into the next year because what? The last one was, ooh, gotta throw that on there. Uh, the last one was uh, Wiggly Willy. Uh, sorry, the last one was uh, in uh, 2017. And then the one before that was 2013. So it's like he just like a, a five year gap happened and then, or a four year gap happened and then just like bow bow. <laughs> the other two, just right, right after, one after the other. But um, this is gonna be interesting. I assume it's gonna be the same area as far as him being like he gets some broccoli and then he just starts talking shit or he like he gets in his bag like I, i'm feeling it the way that the, the way the last two went um i wonder if he's gonna be back in that suit <laughs> talking shit but i want to see what's going on if the following video contains material mature oh i can only imagine all right so be sure to like be sure to subscribe follow me on all that there's social media and we gonna hop into this without any further ado in three two one click the following video contains material of a mature immature and advertiser unfriendly nature. I, I love how he just like states the facts <laughs> like that. All right, let's go. Frankly, it's disgusting. If that doesn't sound like your cup of tea, you should turn the video off now because as soon as I lick this broccoli, there's no turning back. It's all on you. <laughs> I, I like. I, I love the explanation. I'm not gonna lie. I love how I love how he did that. All right. Lick this broccoli. There's no turning back. It's all on you. He just, there's no turning back. Hello! <laughs> My full name's Chilton of DGLB Digby. My diet consists strictly. So is this, so is this, uh, Chilton DGLB Digby. Um, so is this like, just like this, is this like just an alternate, this, this is like just an alternate perso persona. Like this Digby and I see Diggleby, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I see I see this 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 character and I'm I'm really feeling this character. Like let me know in the comments if he portrays this character in anything else besides just the broccoli stuff because I I, I like it I like it. Of single malt whiskey, huh? I'm particularly sesquipen daily, and I've not published a single literary failure. And I'd speculate that's mainly thanks to the fact that I don't even write books, I just rap. Huh? Trust that. Yes. I'm a distinguished linguist whose voice's weapon of choice is English. Bro, whose voice's weapon of choice is English. Bro, like he's he's spitting, bro, but it's not what I'm used to when I hear people rapping like this, so you know, about being this dope or whatever, whatever. I'm used to it, like being all super hard and shit, but no, he's like, yo, I'm gonna just do this shit with ease. <laughs> I like it. Rhythm wrecking rhetorician getting recognition for the fact that I'm swagger's dictionary definition. Wow, hold up. This nigga said. Wait. I'm a distinguished <laughs> linguist whose voice is weapon of choice is English. Uh. A rhythm wrecking rhetorician getting recognition for the fact that I'm swagger's dictionary definition. Uh. On first look, you're ready for a second listen. I took your sister to third base, cherry picking, heavy hitting it with incredible erudition. It's a travesty you haven't seen me rapping on your television. I'm it's a tragedy you haven't seen me rapping on your television, yo! Yo, I swear, like uh, these these mo underground, they want to call them like no independent artists, bro. They can, they will, they will blow a shit ton of these mainstream artists out of the water. And I one thousand percent know for a fact that Dan Bull is one of them. So like, yeah, let's go, let's move. Kill them, Douglas. It's a travesty you haven't seen me rapping on your television. Uh. I'm Cheltenham, Duggleby, Digby. My witty words make you willy feel all wiggy. Uh. I'm Cheltenham. Yes, my, my flow will make your dick hard. That's weird. Okay. Duggleby, Digby. My witty words make you willy feel all wiggy. Uh. I'm Cheltenham, Duggleby, Digby. If folk don't dig me, they don't know diddly. Allow okay. the crime scene. For the time being, I turn the G into a C. Crime scene. I'm the nightmare to. Wow. Talking about grime, I'll turn the G into a C. Crime scene. Yo, come on, bro. For the time being, I turn the G into a C. Crime scene. I turn the G into a C. Crime scene. I don't know if that's a play on G and C. I don't think so, but still, like, 
it still could set up like that. I'm the nightmare to come and wreck your nice dream. I'll open up your top like a double decker sightseeing. Uh, come on! I'll open up your top like a double decker, double decker sightseeing, bro. He showed you the bus that had no top because you know what they do with the binoculars. Come on, bro. Bars, nigga. Broccoli bars. Nigga, let's go. Sorry. Oh my god, my back. Oh, that hurt. All right, let's go. Extreme, I'll open up your top like a double decker sightseeing. Oh. I ripped the Rolex off of Wiley, and now I wear it in my jacket pocket by my tie. See, mm. I'm the reason that your wife's seen the dry cleaner, imbibing my seed like white beater. Whoa, whoa, hold on. What she say? I'm the reason that your wife's seen the dry cleaner. I'm the reason that your wife's seen the dry cleaner. <laughs> imbibing my seed like imbibing my white beater. Don't know that one, but still. Her live stream at widescreen as she lies, semen spit on her cheeks like a child eating ice cream. Oh, that that <laughs> that one was rough. That one was rough. I get it. I, 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 you 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 gotta cut that bar off. You gotta cut the bar off. The one the one translation of it. You have to cut it off immediately before he gets to the child part. <laughs> so it's like he's listen, listen, hold on. Seem it widescreen as she lies, seem it spit on her cheeks. There, that's where you have to cut it off. Seem it smeared on her cheeks. And then he says, like a child eating ice cream. Then you got the ice cream, you know, because you get it. But you got to cut that shit off, <laughs> bro. You can't. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yo, he said, no, it's not ad friendly. Ah, he let us know at the beginning. He let us know at the beginning. Like a child eating ice cream. Oh. I need a new dress. Lewinsky, I'm going mental on your cruise set. Klaus Kinski, I'll yeah. take your mumsy in the mimsy with an air of whimsy. Then throw it down the stairs like a slicky. I'm Cheltenham, Duggleby, Digby. My witty words make you will it feel all wiggly. I'm Cheltenham, Duggleby, Digby. If folk don't dig me, they don't know Digby. I will say this as far as lyricists go, like just pin game. Like how they can flip words and make things, you know what I'm saying? Just do shit, crazy shit with the pen. Dan Bull is definitely one of my top inspirations as far as like people I would say that I look up to in the art of writing. Because for me, writing and rap, it is an art form. Um, and though you don't need bars, you don't need flips, you don't need all this to make good music. I think that um, once you, if you do put bars and flips and just clever wordplay and things like that in the track. Um, if you decide to go that route, which Dan does, uh, in, in that regard, there's a certain level of skill you need to have with the pen. You know what I'm saying? There are people who make awesome and great music, but they couldn't go there with the pen. They can make their music sound good, but lyrically, they can't get down like that. And I think Dan Bull is one of those people who can get down like that. And that's, that's one of that's, that's, that's what the fuck I'd be listening to. And like, once my, uh... Once my Dizzy 8 challenge thing comes out, y'all gonna see what the fuck I'll be talking about. But yeah, nah, I, I, I'm feeling this shit. Let's go. Give me a low bro, dig bit. We'll make your hoe go giggly. Oh, so quickly. Uh. The popo tried to photo fit me. I simply did this, so they let me go. Victory. Ha! I don't have any history. Like Lathered in mystery. Someone phone Agatha Christie. My breath smells of a packet of Wrigley's mixed with whatever the hell my tobacconist gives me. Ah! I'll piggyback on the back of a pygmy, screaming quickly, quickly, while I'm jabbing his kidneys. From the Indies to Sydney and in between, a Cold War submarine is my limousine. A libertine, okay. the sympathy of Mr. Bean, a prick that means to be inflammatory, so bring your antihistamines. Whoa, hold the f nigga, what the fuck did you just say? Is to Sydney <laughs> and in between, a Cold War submarine is my limousine. Uh. A libertine with the sympathy. Of Mr. Bean, a means Mr. Bean, I, Mr. Bean's the the guy from out the window. I think that's who that is. Is that Mr. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. War submarine is my limousine. A libertine with the sympathy of Mr. Bean, a prick that means to be inflammatory. I so bring your antihistamines. I'm Mr. Meanus. I bring a list of Mr. Meanus bigger than your sister's penis. How pissed the scene is. Y'all cannot fuck with this man lyrically. Please understand. Please. Y'all cannot fuck with this man lyrically. Not, not, I don't think a whole lot of people can, yo. Like, shit. Bro, this nigga is on some other type shit. With the way he strings those rhymes along, dog. Sympathy of Mr. Bean, a prick that means to be inflammatory. I so bring your antihistamines. I'm uh, Mr. Meanness. I bring a list of Mr. Mean. I'm Mr. Meanness. I bring a list of Mr. Meaners. It's bigger than your sister's. Bigger than your sister's. Come on, dog. Penis. What? How pissed the scene is. Uh, Just switch your speakers. 
Mistress's penis, how pissed the scene is. Come on, come on, come on, penis pissed, you get it. Let's move. The misdemeanor's bigger than your sister's penis. How pissed the scene is. Just switch your speakers off if you're squeamish up. Completed treaties and theses on feces. I'm a sneeze, pollinating on the daily. I leave seeds upon a range of lovely ladies. I'm a bee on the bee's knees, pollinating something daily. Leaving seeds up. Come on, dog. Listen! I'll pick your squeamish up. Completed treaties and theses on feces. I'm the bee's knees. Pollinating on the daily. I leave seeds upon a range of lovely ladies. I leave seeds upon a range of Oh, come on, bro. Let's go. It is high ground rated Hades with the Mercedes. Camera in the deceased faces. Say cheese. I'm from a place of make believe, and now I'm real. Slightly hallucinatory is how I feel. Thou uh. art kneeling before. For me, raw me, ready to be churned and then turned into corn beef. Balls deep in the rhythm like a porn scene. A jism and it's bigger than to get a bit like Wall Street. With all the greed, I'm growing taller than a broad beat. Oh, I like, I like, see, y'all already know I like when they, when, when they give you the subtitle sauce. And he's been doing that with this video, which I thought was mad sick. And I love how the subtitles been transitioning. And now he's talking about getting green and they switch to like Grand Theft Auto type subtitles. Like that, that, that was dope. I like that. I like that. And this is gross. This, this, this right here, what he's, you get it? You get it? All right. It's bigger than to get a bit like Wall Street. With all the greed, I'm growing taller than a broad beam. Drag you to the park, folded in half like a lawn seat. <laughs> I'm Sheltonham, Dugglebeam, Digby. My witty words make you will it feel all wiggly. I'm Sheltonham, Dugglebeam, Digby. If folk don't dig me, they don't know Diggly. What? Bitches? Scoundrels? Villains? <laughs> Anyone that's up to mischief? This one's for you. Wordsmith, wordsmithery, and or, or, oration, damble, animated video, gram, giddy video. Okay. Damble. Uh. Yo, yo, that was dope, and we listened to the dope shit here. I gotta say that that was. All three of them, broccoli bars for the fucking win, dog. That shit was sick. I love this bit. I love the flow. I love it. This one, I love how mellow and vibey the beat was. You feel me? Like, that could have been a track that somebody, like, sang some dope shit to and got down a little bit, and the beat have been vibing. But Dan took that and said, you know what? I'm going to fuck this all up. I'm going to fuck this all up. <laughs> and he did, yo. This shit was sick. Like, the bars, the spit, the flow, how it was going, the double lines, the fucking, uh... Yeah, yeah, the homophone plays and shit like that. Like, I was feeling it. Like, I was feeling it. This was dope. That's my take on it. So, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all that there social media, and I'll catch y'all next, man. Peace!